Hello. Hey. How's it growing, y'all? Happy Wednesday. It is one. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I was like, first second, I was like, what day is it? Hello? It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Yay. Yippee. Hey, Fizz. Ready to get sad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're ready to get fucking sad. You know what? I woke up today. And I was like... I, I My life is missing some sad. I'm missing some sadness in my life. It's not sad enough. You know? It could get sadder. But also... With sad... Sadness... Gives, uh... Gives rise to sick combos. Sick dog combos. It's actually, uh, <laughs> I was actually, um, in the training, the little training air, uh, mode the other day, practicing the timing on my dog combos. Apparently, if you ever played, like, um, like DMC, like specifically DMC 4 or 5 with Nero, it kind of works like the Exceed, where you, like, you end the combo, but, like, right when you end, you hit the dog button, you hit the, the, uh, the sick attack button and that's when Torgal like Torgal like it'll like it'll like juice up Torgal and he does like the the spin dash move world status man combos got into oblivion and when we goes there with them yeah I mean what what better what better motivator for for godly combos than than deep personal trauma? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we could all learn a lesson from Clive. If you're really sad, if you're if you have deep seated angst, the best way to confront it is to do a sick, sick combo string. Um, oh yeah, that's right. We just came back from Rosaria and uh, that whole village got burdenated and uh, yeah, Don't thanks mom. Just a quick Thank you. Thank you, mother. Appreciate it. <gasps> Jill. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. I'm tired of running. I'm gonna walk through the door. I'm gonna walk through it, Jill. Watch me. Watch me do it. Ooh, nice pen. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But I just but got Devil Trigger. I say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that 
I see now was scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? <gasps> that was the answer we found. The only one we need. And holding. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Fire and I. Oh, I get it. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Oh. Mother. Mother, dearest. Earlier. Look at that view. Council of Elders. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Well, that would... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without <laughs> our citizens. fools. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. <laughs> then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with. Someone the check the gaslighting funds. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. 
That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Where is mother? I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? says they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Mm. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one... What say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. Stab the rock. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Very ready to crush the monarchy. Yeah, let's what have do I got it. myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. We gonna be gaming for real, for real. Okay, we need to, we need to hit the, we need to hit Karen's. Get some potions. Get a pack, uh, get a pack of Mountain Dew. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The Holy Capital. And what business would you have? Holy Capital. On second thoughts, I don't want to know. I'm gonna do gamer stuff, Karen. It's gonna be sick. Lionheart Tonic. 
gradually fills limit break gauge for 30 seconds. Ooh. Yeah, give me, uh, give me You're rubbing me blind, mind. you know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint tie is Borbile Tea. Ew. <sighs> Just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Speak with Otto. Oh, side quest. Hold, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yo, hold that thought. It's never this late. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is. I need yeah. to the risk. Yeah. The hideaway That's can't survive on slightly good alone. And though Karen does what slightly she more can, appealing. her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army. I was. Then, might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton. The tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Clyde, was it? I heard Otto barking oh, at his lap earlier. Didn't sound happy. Yes. What do you suppose it could be? Okay then. Uh the box. Ooh. Hello, Gwen. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. <gasps> a letter he's been waiting on for days. Oh no. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. They'll be in trouble if I don't. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's Bay was perhaps. This outfit took a tumble in the bushes when I was Really makes me through. notice There's how my fucking pack might have broad something. Five is like his shoulders. Dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. He is so top heavy. If you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll he looks find like a freaking Dorito. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's Bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Freaking white ass shoulders, snatched waist. Unless it won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Don't worry, sir. I'll combo things back to normal. <laughs> Basically. On a 
it to send a message. That's basically Clive's mission for everything. Okay. Um Doritos. Shit, I kinda want I kinda want Doritos now. It's been a while since I just I got like a big ass bag of Doritos. I mean I need to do that next time I go to the store. And how might this old soul be of service? Yo, what up, Tomes? I have a few new notes that might interest you. You drop some sick lore on me. Oh shit. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. Continental Accord? Uh, uh... The international pact made at the dawn of the present era in which such matters as the treatment of bearers and the establishment of realm-wide currency were laid out it formed the basis of much of Valstinian society as it stands today, including the branding of bearers and their status as non-persons. It also put in place a universal calendar mar marking a symbolic fresh start for mankind, albeit one which put magic, u magic users as a crippling, at a crippling disadvantage. Of course. Okay. Have fun fooding. Fear, uh, the founder. Fear and uncertainty reigned in those early years following the sins of Desmechis. Not wanting to further incur the wrath of the heavens, the few who survived the, fool, the fall took to wandering the land, spurning magic and staying to the shadows, and, and so they lived for decades. One man, however, grew tired of this life, if it could be called that, after bidding his companions farewell, climbed a grassy knoll overlooking a forest of beech and alder. Here he gathered a pile of rubble and used it to build a humble shelter in which he spent the night. The next morning, however, instead of abandoning his work, as was well his people's wont, he gathered more rocks, adding to the structure until the shelter had become a shack. This he continued for days, weeks, until his shack had become a home. At first, those few wanderers who passed the knoll would shun him, cursing the man under their breaths for his hubris. But as his estate grew, and one building became two, and two, three, the people began to slow their steps, and it was not long before some took to joining him in that knoll, gathering stones, building new lives, new destinies. This they did without magics or machines, without boon or blessing. They relied on naught but their hands, their backs, their wills, and each other. And slowly, house gave way to village, village to town, and town to nation. The man would one day die, as all men do, but those who remained continued his legacy, expanded upon it. And though his name was eventually forgotten, his spirit lives on to this day in the hearts of all Rosarians. Legend of the Founder, Oz the Chronicler. Ooh. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Uh, shit. Uh, new Sid lore. He unearthed the shocking truth that the Mother Crystals were the cause of the all-consuming blight. He makes plans to see the Mother's fall, that Velestia and her people might be saved. Uh, the Mother Crystals. Though the people of Valsthea rely on the crystal mine from these mountains in their everyday lives and flock to the aether-rich lands around them and receive their blessing, Sid posits that it is in fact the Mother Crystals and their ability to draw aether from the earth that is the reason for the Deadlands advance. The few who learn the truth are hunted down by those in positions of power, those whose power rests on their, sh on their control of this crucial resource. Uh... uh... The Empire is ruled by the Holy Emperor, the one true goddess made flesh, according to the Gregorian faith, who was served unquestioningly by the sworn knights of the Blessed Dragon, no more commonly as the Dragoons. Drake's head. Uh, Mother Crystal is situated on the Sea of Grace in northern Sambacraw. Drake's head towers over the holy capital of Oriflame. Its, might form a, its mighty form a testament to the power and permanence of the Empire. However, mysterious aether floods and the specter of the ever encroaching blight have led some in power to call that permanence into question. Sylvester Lesage, Emperor of the Holy Empire Zemperqua, who won his throne at least partly by virtue of his son Dion having awakened as the dominant of Bahamut. Uh, High Cardinal. First and foremost of the five cardinals who make up the Council of Elders, second only to the Holy Emperor and the Imperial Government. 
It is his role to lead the council in governing Samarqua in the Emperor's stead, and providing the latter does not overrule his decisions. His authority is absolute. Cool. Oh shit. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh... Harold Bearer turned deserted. He returns to the ruins of Phoenix Gate, where his father and brother died 13 years before, and learns that he, in, he is indeed the dominant of Ifrit, who won, the one who took his brother's life. Anxious to atone for his crimes, and filled with righteous anger after witnessing the massacre at Eastpool, he pledges himself to Sid's cause for free of, to free all of Elstia from its bonds, not only those between Bearer and Master, but those between Man and Mother Crystal. All right, all right. The door to the shelves shall ever all right, we're all, I think we're good on the lore right now. Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? I don't know. You can... Uh, oh, map. Okay. Let's do this one. <clears throat> uh. Oh, they're both in the same area. Okay, cool. At least this place isn't, isn't like burned to the ground or anything. So it took a tilt between the wardens of light and dark to finally drive the royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of Bellinus were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. Ugh. Burrs be eating good. What's up, Quentin? Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure Something to let probably him happened to him. Five. Okay. Search for Randall. Cup, uh. Okay. <laughs> Sun's setting fast. Hey, Torgal. This is the right way, right? Yeah. Every time Clive runs, I just... All I can really hear are his fucking squeaky-ass pants. Oh yeah, this music. I really hope they uh, release the soundtrack. I don't actually. I think I'm not sure if they announced the date yet, but yeah, whenever they do, um, I'm gonna be all over it. Oh, 
fucking soaking. Did it again. Are you Randall? Oh. Are you all right? Oh. Ragged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Oh shit. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Zooming. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, goblin. Let's Goblins. go. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. It's over. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's go. Forgot I swapped some uh some abilities out. Ooh. Expect Randall's body. No, Randall. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Damn.
That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his daughter and his son? Three up on potions. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. I trust it's all here. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Cheap beef stew acquired. Nice. We, uh, we found Randall. Um, he's pretty dead, so. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. You got got by some gobbles. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. We combo those gobbles pretty good though. Long. A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work, and he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. At least we got some mats for it. Doggo. Fetch. Well. Maybe this next quest won't end so sadly. Maybe. said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Treep sack. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. We have one working serotonin clan left and its name is Torgal. True. Torgal is hard carrying all the happiness in this game. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter though. I've come this far. Bait with the yard hands. Ask around. Oh, hello. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I think I'm, I think I'm overdressed I'm for, for anything, anything really. Nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Look at this fucking cosplay bait. Like, seriously. Like every time I go to a village, I'm like surprised no one's like, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, another, another tourist for the convention, are you? Master Quinn, the shad's oh all goodness. salted and smoked. Oh, look at this guy. Line and they're still not dry. 
Doing doing the magic, doing the thing. Retrieve <gasps> Doggo! Oh my god, do I'm gonna say is that seems we have a culprit. Sorry, boy. I'm gonna say is like that was kind of dirty, but I think it's just his, Someone's his coat. This. But he's waiting long enough already. Hopefully, this will keep our career out of trouble. Got it. We got the love letter. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. I've heard some people say that the side quests in this game are like kind of basic or bad. I'm just like, nah. Maybe I should just. They're FF14 side quests. They're fine. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. So worried about the letter. Oh. Like the structure for these quests are very no fourteen. More skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? <laughs> if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while it's she's Sid away. Sid has a daughter? He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't oh, be wasting shit. his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. That's very necessary weekly Garfield's trip. Oh god. Yay. Did it. Well, let's save. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We'll need to send a message, most likely. But did she Even though there's auto save, it's still very, very good to manual save every so often. Clive, was it? Ooh, we got some quick. new shit. So, what it be? Flam, flame tongue. The tongue of flame spake you the words of destruction. Oh. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Damn. I'm losing out on the on the edge sword though. And Oh, this sword's pretty cool though. Humor is the only thing keeping him going. True. Okay, this sword's pretty. This is a pretty dope sword. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm I'm fine with that. I I like. Oh, I like the red accents. It goes well with Clive, honestly. It's a good sword. Good, I'm sorry, ladies. <clears throat> I was too distracted by a sword. Uh, right, well, uh, speak with Otto. That's right. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you a bowl of brown. So no thanks. Really going through with it. Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, but that's all it's ever been. Talk. 
He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has <clears throat> to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning. Let the know Dame? Can. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman. Oh, repute. You know what I mean. Oh. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now. Wait a minute. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. What kind of house is this? Alliant reports unlocked? Can't wait to grow up and run a house of ill repute. Hmm. Alliant reports are now available for viewing by speaking to Gao Gao at the Alliant report counter in the hideaway's mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Falstia. Word? I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Yo, what do you got? Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Been here for well, a while, I'm the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or well, maybe I don't have to. Oh. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Oh, yeah. You're anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a Literally. look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Ooh. They don't... They don't just mean brothel, I'd imagine the bar with Dan backslide. Me? I do what O tells me. I suppose you could say I'm his right hand man. He's a hard master, but not nearly as hard as my old one was. When the man beat me bloody and threw me out into the streets to die, it was Otto who found me and took me in. The way I see it. I owe him, so I help him look after the ledgers as well as reading through all the reports coming from our allies across the twins. And if it sounds like someone out there needs our help, I make a note so I can point any willing volunteers in the right direction. Oh, what'd you say? Are you willing? There is no sure way of turning Otto's frown a little less frowny. Anything catch your eye? Oh shit. Uh, use ga ga Gates Alliant reports to not only find new quests around Valstia, but also travel immediately to the obelisk waypoint nearest their location. Oh. Oh. Shit. I see.
Imperial province or Viseria. Oh! So this just this just keeps track of um think you can help whatever's out there all right oh all right quick look we can take a minute here welcoming committee Alain. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Perhaps I can convince them with this man cleavage. Would you like to feel the warmth of my bosom? So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <laughs> Thank you. I won't be long. <laughs> you stay here and rest. <laughs> uh, that is really stupid thought. He was like, we're hungry. I was just like, imagine if Clive just like opens up his shirt. It's like, well, it's time to feed them. <laughs> uh, what? Daddy. There'll be none left for me. <laughs> silver, silver sided shopkeeper. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry, we've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me, it's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. Wow. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Master well, Quinton's got that clout. Don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. I shall take the sparkly bread and wine. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Go for some wine. I can't have too much wine though. It gives me a headache. Don't tell me. Turn it well, I don't know. The only the only wine I've really had Did is like red wine. That bear is back to a mark. That gives me <gasps> That gives me mad headaches. Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly.
It's not as good as Clive Milk, but you know. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. And Clive takes out a phone. Have you heard of DoorDash? You can have someone bring food to you. Anytime you want. What happens to us now? All right. Let's do this one. They see the Instagram mail pics and faint. Oh my god. Dude, I've, I've fallen down a weird hole on YouTube. Um, I've fallen down the weird food YouTube hole. Of like... Of like shorts of like people making food. And it's just like... Yeah, like food tubers. And it's, I, I feel so conflicted about it. Because on one hand, it's not as bad as like other things because it's food. And I like food. But it's also like, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being, I feel like I'm being worked, you know? I'm, I'm falling, I'm falling for the machine. The Mysteries of Vinification uh, While some winemakers will remove the skins of the grapes after pressing, leaving both skin and seeds in the juice to coming, commingle creates a must that is better suited for extended aging, ultimately resulting in a more refined wine. Then, once the wine calms and settles sufficiently, the skins are removed and the must is then transferred to wooden barrels of oak or chestnut which, by allowing the air to leach into the wine, impart deepened levels of complexity Introducing rich aromas and improving texture, all while lessening bitterness. No matter what, we're getting marketed to in an attempt to make us more convenient. Master Quinton will never oh, hey forgive guys. me if I don't save that crop. Emil. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to Ew. solve your best problem. Buggos. I do indeed. I've never seen him so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder... This will be the finest Sounds like an excuse for sick the combos. Don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. The grapes are in peril. Truly, the most dire of circumstances in Final Fantasy. Bet Hello. you'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? 
We're not on my watch. We're not. What the hell? You're teasing me like that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that door before, and then she just, like, brought attention to it. It's like, I didn't give a shit before, but, like... Now, now you're making me care a little. It's looking to be a fine harvest, is it? God. Music. Like a leprechaun saying you'll never get the gold, exactly. The wasp shouldn't give me too much trouble. There we go. You! I love grabs so much. Yeah, you can take care of that one, Joe. <laughs> yeah, do speed. the thought that counts. We did it, boy. Looks like that was the last of them. We did the sick combos. I like Quentin's... I know. I want to get to, I want to get to the point in the game where you can do hunts. Just like a hunt board, but probably to play some more main quest to, to unlock it, probably. I did it. Saved the grapes. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Yay. All right. I think I'm ready for main story now. Ugh. I know that there's one over there. It's fine. It's fine. Weiss Wayne Vintage. Oh, let's save. Just save. You really don't get that much from side quests. Well, you don't you don't get a whole lot of XP. 
I don't think you get any AP either. They're kind of just there. Like 14. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's laughing! Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the key no, song. Gav. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. I mean, probably. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. Uh. Make sure there's a spare at the end of the path, and Clive will find a way there. Probably. Lost Wing. Wait. Oh, yeah, it was just there. So, we're meeting in Northreach. But will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Oh, I see. Uh... Yes, uh. this is the path. Oh my god, look at this, this sunbreak. Beautiful. Wow. Wildlife. God, look at this frickin' openness. There. Northreach. Soldiers used to speak of war. 
is north of the checkpoint. And the day is from Come here. south. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, it's brothel time. even that much of my time branded my mistake no Damn. mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway do you think you could please me Clive uh you're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred, Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Ooh. Unless. Unless. <laughs> unless, of course. His master deigned to appear. Yes. Uh, that will do nicely. Oh, oh. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Um... Wait, what? Uh-oh. You say these are all from Dalmechia? What are we getting into here? Merchant. Welcome, welcome. And a fine, fine day to you. She's not even dressed even half as I know. Like everyone in this game is like super conservative compared to Clive. It's not even fair. We've red, whites, ales, mead, ciders, perries, murrays. Keep your hands Lesher. to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been soured by a branded touch. Jesus. Not have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. Yep, I knew it. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. What do you mean? From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, honestly, going to give you, you exactly can just put some makeup over it. It's want. like <laughs> just play along. Madame, 
Back to the Vale already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. I could combo you and the jelly in a second. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. Oh. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Oh boy. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. It's all right, you'll fit right in, Clive. I'll get you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even have to fill out an application. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. You just get higher on the spot. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> and if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Oh boy. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatien has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. The moon and stars. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Oh. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here. All right. Uh... Hello. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. 
The day before, she was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chambermate can tell us then. We have to kill some buggos to find this girl. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins yeah. later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, oh. but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing That's in. a little parasocial. She didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. The man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Ah, uh, boy. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Excuse me. Oh, you hello. There, the yeah. Gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames. Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Mm, sure. Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. Oh. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Got them type of goods. Uh, okay. <laughs> A little sussy. A little sussy. Friend of the people. Alright, well, we might as well just pick these all up here. You know. Oh God! Sergeant's Soldiers. got it in for us too. As if either of us needs to brush up on our swordcraft. <laughs> he wouldn't doubt our swordcraft if he seen us down the veil last night. <laughs> Ugh. 
Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Well, are you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. Yeah, that's right. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's right, finest? We're, we're mutuals. <laughs> I dare say those ways of finding out. Huh? How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Oh my god. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair This, fight. this, this poor bastard. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Uh-huh. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Yeah. So you know one end of a He's talking shit while I'm air comboing him. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Oh. Fine. Yeah, you want some too? Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Uh huh. How the bearer win the day's favor, any? Anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Yeah, come on. You got potential. I give you that. That's enough. I'll be dead. Man spent the entire fight on his back in airborne. I'm not gonna waste a limit rig on these dudes. <laughs> Just, uh. Can I go now? Yeah, you got. What do you gotta say? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah. yeah. Not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Guys, finest thrash guys are branded. the equivalent of Xbox kids. Surly bastard, but he had our number, right? Extra drills, it is then. Yeah, on second thought, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We wouldn't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? 
mauled, mauled hard. Remember it in times of peace so you know none. <laughs> I, you, you only won because because my uh, my connection dropped. That's why. Oh. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the Dude, I wasted those guys. I I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars. Thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? <laughs> About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare costs little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. Dang. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Okay. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much. But it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed. Not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this Pizza act of mercy I was about to as say. an undermining of the <laughs> Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, <laughs> a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. One of them I am expected back trackers? in the no. capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. I, I only have some... I only have one, one pack of Lunchables, a, a fruit roll-up. Crystal's curse is and, bad uh, enough. Uh, we can't let people starve as well. Heard the bones fell An old Tootsie Roll. <laughs> God, I haven't seen Tootsie Rolls in years. Like you need a rest. Bearer comestibles. Be prepared by Matthew for three overworked and underfed bearers employed in North Reach's garrison. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. I like the fruit or ones. Or anyone might see. I think the fruit ones are underrated. Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. I like the, uh... Yeah, and the others. I think there was like an orange creamsicle one. I think that was my favorite. That's something at least. Uh... Oh. What the hell? Oh, he's Are you healing. Waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Oh, jeez. 
Really? Looks like now's not the time. Blue fruit. Yeah, it was just kind of like... It's like, it's like, that's... <laughs> it's just blue you know flavor. It. You want to bleed to death? Uh... I got so many quest markers. To me, blue always kind of like implied either like blueberry, raspberry, I don't know. Some people got weird with it. Sometimes blue would be like, oh, mixed berry or wild berry. Like, okay, sure. I have something for you. My God. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. Barbara, arms are in the stone already. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded. Who told you to arrest? Stole those damn flames. Oh my, Jesus. Your you, foot. If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Go oh, fuck yourself. No. She's like a she's already a fourth petrified. No one No one gives a shit. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. You branded a nothing but a nuisance. Feckless Salotia. Dude, I could fucking I could air combo you for for days. Bend him over and anchors. The hammer is hit. <laughs> Dude. This world is messed up. Hate it here. Oh, he's still still going at it. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Jesus. Here. Yeah. It looks like you need it. Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. Damn. That dude sounds hollow. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Alright, before I go back to the Vale, I'm gonna talk to these guys. That's the day done then. Dude, this app, this afternoon, like, it's like midday, like, the sun is so good. Hello. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that 
That is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that? They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Brandy wine. We've reds, whites, ales, meads, ciders, berries. Are you gonna buy something or not? Oh, however do they get that color? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. Shut the fuck up. delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Ugh. Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. It's quick to change his tune. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. I have no business with Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have business with you. A package fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Got it. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. You mad, bro? Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Yeah, sure. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. Not like I'm an heir Question to is, uh, a kingdom or anything. How can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. You there! Fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? I find it hard, so hard not to laugh in these people's faces. It's like... It's like if a society conditioned like a certain class of people. Like, if they granted like a, a certain a class of people the right to just act like Karens. Everyone else. That's what this feels like. Kind of pathetic. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Like the like the law says basically that I am I have I am lawfully superior to you, so I have the right to be a Karen. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just enabling people to be shit. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? 
No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for yeah. even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> and I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Lady mm. business. All right. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put the me to work delivering pleasure. food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Aw. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? So understanding. To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. It's kind of jarring to like see how some people in this world are like, yeah, this is fucked up. This is this is fucked up. And then other people are just like, no, this is fine. No. The, the brand the branded aren't people. It's fine. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember. It's just like real life. Oh. Oh, you should save. The bones fell favorably to the veil, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. Ugh. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Jesus. Hold your he wears the dame's brooch. One word from him, and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. 
Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Hmm. It's not been half a moon since better than one ever. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. All right, we're going to... Moor. You know what would be great? A chocobo. A chocobo would be great right about now. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. Alright, thanks. Good to know. Orafla. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Oh, look at these wild chocobos. <laughs> it was with the music. That's enough for today, Branded. Me my retail days. Again. Never again. You, Brandy, here now. Why? What do you want? You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, uh -huh. don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. I get nothing out of this. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill them. Look at this fucking goober. Oh my god. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Yeah, that's a little sketch. Oh, the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Didn't mean to do that. Get him, boy. That's enough. Kick that dog. You won't 
supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. What? Your father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. What? Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. The fuck? Oh shit. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Uh, can we can we kill them both? Can we can can we air combo them into giblets? All right, you fuckers. You, Brandy, come here this instant. Yeah. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the I mean, I, I kind of obliterated that dog. More, and we are most certainly not entertained. Nor Steam am man. I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That wretch would be the dame. That wretch would be me. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? That Shut brand. your mouth and listen. Yeah. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain. Just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? You me sent me hound. to my dad. A better, one. A better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Bro. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Pieces of shit. Ugh. All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. Oh, hey. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Hey 
their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Oh. Speaking of which... Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Well, at least they're gone. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm guessing I'm guessing they didn't, they didn't want to depict uh child death, so even though that kid was a little bastard. All right, what do you what do you want, child? Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores, but she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She's beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. Get the feeling she Chloe's a person? Yeah, meat. probably. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, and it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Play things. Yeah, that's probably a, yeah. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack Shut of manners. Shut the fuck up. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. Jesus. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Go fuck yourself. Chloe. Yeah. Dog. More brown than white. You are Chloe. Oh, oh Clive. Is that? 
Someone napping on the job. Oh boy. I hope they don't mind the interruption. Yep. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. Yeah, kid. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Bring you back to reality. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. Oh, boy. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> that's right. Feel bad. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. I'm... I'm so sorry, Chloe. <laughs> That'd be a fucking lesson. Oh boy. <laughs> Do this. Hmm. These these side quests. These these are. If the people of Moor hmm. are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oh, hello, guitar. I know. Fucked up. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. And the guitar is deceiving. It's a, it's a distraction from... From the pain. From the fuckery. What do you want? Jeez. <laughs> Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Um, no, definitely not a deserter. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. 
Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Yeah, that's right. Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to comb. trade it for a newer one. Uh oh. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Uh, be sure and tell her, Fucking won't simp. you, that I was helpful, I mean, most helpful. <laughs> This dude be spamming super chats for the dame. Oh, priest. You are fortunate to have fallen into the dame's good graces, but her influence wanes the further you stray from Northreach. Remember that, my wayward lamb. All right, thanks. See doggos in the distance. What is this ominous ass music? Here, oh yeah. Wolves. Oh yeah. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Ow. 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 God. Fire tackle. Yep. Bodies. A man and a woman. That's that's about as much as I expected. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, yeah, he was a jealous sod. I couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. 
We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, mm. I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatien by. Well... Uh, hey. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, my lady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Hmm... yeah... About that. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatienne. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Yay, quest complete. <laughs> I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token Yay. of my thanks. The veil. Counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Yeah, sorry about... Sorry about Tatian. That, that sucks. <laughs> Every fucking quest we've done today has like a shitty ending. This is just the story of this game. Everything sucks. No happy ending. You don't you don't get it. Even though even though you finished it, no. You get <laughs> 
expecting any Every idea. ending is the bad ending. Ugh. Save. Why is this music so ominous? I don't get it. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> gonna meet my friends friends I've had a fucking shitty day Guys. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Pleasure houses. Oh, shit. Wow, fancy. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Uh, brothel. Uh oh. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start? And Breck. Besides, I know that a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the Harmon, but that's not important. No, the noises. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. 
No. This isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. Might at least pretend to take this seriously. It's kind of fire, not gonna lie. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So you best make ready. The world won't save itself. Yeah. Let's do it. <clears throat> Drake's head. In majestic silence, has Drake's head ever stood vigil over the Empire of Sambraqua, or Sambrek, and its bejeweled capital? You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Proceed. Mm. Fuck it. We're gaming. What are we doing with the Crystal Mountain after we break it? Uh... Yeah. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Huh. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You Said. Want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother said. Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Why can you see that with a straight face when you live for absorbing XP? True. Come on, this way. Try Why to stay exists for combo and XP. Obviously. Uh oh, I can't save here. Wait, can I? Abilities. Ooh, all right. Got some shit. Um. Might save for one of these. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't worry, the passage is empty. Thanks. Thanks, Sid. Do you have a full party? Hold on. Yo, full party, let's go. Oh my 
my god, look at this. We're sneaking. Are we all sneaking? Yeah, we're all sneaking. Oh my god. New Metal Gear all looking right. different. Oh, fuck, empty. Let's get this over with. Can't be seen. These are bent. I know. I mean, Clive's still squeaking everywhere with his pants, but fine. All right, no more sneaking. Of course it did. Perfect plan, Clive. Perfect plan. He made his head. Yeah, dog combo. I'm slashing, I'm slashing, I'm slashing. Woo. The tackle is so good. Never stood a chance. <laughs> the main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Oh no, look at that Donkey Kong ass shit. I hope there's no, there's no minecart riding section. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. That's fine. Captain, two arms! Survivors, summon the cannon at once! Airborne! Air combo again. Tackle. Ow. Builds pretty fast. I keep forgetting it's there actually. Oh, this may be the moment I was talking about Big earlier. Boy. What have we here? More insects come to be Imperial squashed. Imperial cannoneer. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Oh god. Good talk, yeah? The heavy bow gunner. Let's shut him up. Whoa. Oh god. Oh, oh. Oh shit. Oh. Ow. Oh god. Oh shit. I'm doing a bad job of jogging. Then we better make this quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, bitch. Ow. Break time. Why won't you die? Is he we change big class change into cannon here? He's morbid. Cool patch. Whoa! Who can not in return? There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Ow! Not this time. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Dog. Not this time. Too slow. Ow, shit. Oh shit, ow, 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 ow. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. 
didn't lie to me, yeah. That was fun. That was a fun fight. Increases ignition damage by 12%. Ooh. Kashiko, no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Ugh. Can Come we take on. the cannon? I mean, it's bigger than all of us combined. Our duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Ooh, I need... I need potions. Us, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else. Oh, hold on. This cave is pretty. Oh, see some jobbers. Oh, the miners. The gods. These are like monsters on them. All we can do now is put our life in misery. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? You said you could call her Isabel. Never no mind. If ever there was a reason to watch things, an Aether flood would be it. Oh, mate. Those guards at the gate. Hey. They were there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Ow. You know what to do. Use the cannon as a blast engine for minecart, dude. That is too cool. Where the hell am I? Where am I supposed to? Okay. Smash! One thing I will say is that this game is very dark. Like, I had to boost the brightness all the way up so it was so dark. Vocal jump. Don't jump. Come on, Sid, far. you can do it. Right. Come on, lightning man. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, shit. Oh. 
Oh fuck. Some help. Hold on. Jesus. Not quite as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. Was that a bromance? Ooh, pretty. Hey. War Cry. Some opponents will use the ability War Cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Uh. Okay. They'll fall like all the rest. Fine, dead. I would not want to be hit with a pickaxe. That... That would seem like it would suck really bad. Pretty much anything spiky. Maces. Morning stars. Convenient. Oh, hey guys. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh. 
counter get better if you chain multiple dodges? I don't know. It might affect your rating or something. I know in uh, arcade mode you get rated at the end of every battle. I'm looking forward to that actually. Vex Chutzpah. I uh... Like, I'm enjoying this this first initial playthrough so far, but I'm actually really looking forward to uh, New Game Plus, which is like, they call it Final Fantasy mode. And it's just like, basically the game's harder, but like, you can also do more challenging <sighs> stuff if you don't have like your full kit, so I'm looking forward to that. The run back, you know. I feel like I'll really be able to uh, stretch my wings. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. Moral sword? What the fuck? Excuse me. Oh. Oh, number go up. Coral. While razor sharp, is also painfully brittle. Which is why its use in all but the most primitive of weapons is almost unheard of. This sort of unknown prov provenance, however, is possessed of a remarkable rigidity, ri rigidity while maintaining an edge that rivals that of Odin's blade. Okay. Check it out. Oh, ooh, it's got a little curve to it. Getting slashed by coral sounds excruciating, yeah. Not as edgy as our uh, last one. 
Yeah, teamwork. Not what exactly. To two? Ask one. Once more. Guys, you have like Aye. god powers. You're trying now. Yeah. As if that was going to keep us out. Ooh. A little torch ball. It's like Joshua. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got a, a little bit of a nautical feel. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? A little swash I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. The one thing I I kinda wish there was in this game was like, Clive only uses, like, swords and stuff. And his moveset with the sword is basically the same, but... Kinda would have been cool to see him use different types of weapons. Like, I don't know. Spears and... Hammers and stuff. Cannon. You know. Do some, like, class type of shit, you know? But I don't know. I get I get what they were going for. They had a vision. They, they didn't want to get too too Dante. There's no one about. Big. Holy shit. But this. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. Uh. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Said. Ready. Oh shit. Oh no. There's something you two want to tell me. It's these guys. Yeah. How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? The two oh, places right. connected somehow. <sighs> I love the pain train. Take a while.
this guy. Ow. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Ah, wrong one. Sick of Toggle. Yeah, Gouge is really good at um doing stagger damage. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. The Guardian. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Oh, that looks like a boss arena. Which more like jerk. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I'll, I'll actually be right back. I need to get another drink, though, before we get into, like, some sweaty stuff. Like a beverage. BRB.
back. I will confess. Got a little bit of the alcohol. Let's put a little... Put a little, little bit into my coffee. A little, little liqueur. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. This will probably... Will probably bookend the stream, because I'm... I'm gonna assume this is like a boss fight or something. And then we'll be... Finished. Well, relatively. This area. You look at this fucking... Wow. Oh. Where did that come from? Come on. Come on out. Holy shit. If I had to guess. That's a drag. Poor beast. Yeah, fights energy. Another victim of the flood. Pretty close. He's all, he's all sauced up on the crystal. Well, if it's a fight, he the Kashuk dragon. Ready, Clive? Always. Whoa. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Yeah, it does. Uh-uh. Oh my god, there's so much... So much stagger. Alright, let's go. Doing? Clyde, look out! Whoa! You want to sweep? Where is he? Ow! Ow! No, you! This is sick. 
down. Be no sponsor, Hunter. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh boy. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, this time. Oh, you. Go, baby. Sit. Get fucked. Yeah, take a breather. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Is it? Clive. You good? Yeah. If this all works. And the blessing fades. Things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean hunted. Ooh. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Oh, Sid. Oh, 
Okay. Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Can I still not see? Oh, I can. the fast travel oh I can actually <clears throat> ooh hey I love me some mats all right hold on See if we get one more time. The shiny rock. Beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that <laughs> figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Time Mine's bigger. To have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Huh? Oh, shit. What? Zed? Do anything... No, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do the thing. Yeah, he's doing the thing. Oh boy. Of course. Of course. It'd be funny if he like hit his head on the ceiling or something. That's not all right, Yowie hand. Torgle! Hold on. Sid? Uh, 
Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, AoEs. Area markers. Get out of here. And yours. Oh. Heartburn. Oh, fuck. Oh, music? Whoa. This is mine. Oh. 
That's a sin. Oh, oh. Oh. Yo. Oh shit, let's go. There he is. Time for kaiju battles, baby. Embodying Ifrit again. Melee attack, range attack, evade, jump. Oh, I can jump now. Ability mastery is shared with Clive. Backdraft. Press square after executing a fireball burst. Form a devast devastating melee finish known as Backdraft. Wildfire. You circle to sprint over an extended distance. Other abilities. All abilities available while embodying everyone can be firmed on the abilities tab. Okay. Alright, bitch. Hey! Oh my god, this is sick. Ow! Oh my god. Ow! Whoa. What the fuck? Dodging like wildfire. Uh, use L while holding circle. It's an effective method to avoid. Okay. Ow. There we go, baby. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Jesus. <laughs> Big fuck off numbers. Nope. There we go. That wasn't so bad. It's fucked. Done. Yeah, I didn't figure there was another phase. Oh. Oh shit. Wait, really? Oh.
dyed his hair. As you wish. Yo, it's fucking EDM. Oh my god. Whoa! 